Hello, and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. We're your hosts. I'm Anton. And I'm Marwa. Hi, Anton. Hi, Marwa. How are you? Great. Thank you. How are you? Thanks. Well, we have another Apex Incident Tips that uh, is brought to you at the last moment. We're nothing if not just in time uh, when we when we get these tips ready. Um, so, uh, Marwa, what do we have today? Well, we have some region types that we rarely use. Yes. Um, and uh, I, one, this was spawned. I, I went back. I was looking at an old Incident Tip, um, episode 77 because I, I actually want to update that tip. And I realized somebody asked about a particular region type. They asked a question about the um, toggle column report region type. And during that episode, I was like, I don't even know what that region type is. And I promised to get back about this particular question. The question was, can you do pagination with a toggle column report region type? And that was years ago. And I, uh, I think I haven't even, um, until, until this week, investigated what is a toggle, toggle column report region type. Hey, guys. Um, uh, and so, so what I was doing that, I saw a few other region types that I know about, but that I, did, that I really don't use very much. So I thought, let's take a look at these. So um, Marwa, why don't we start? I'll share my screen right now. And um, uh, Describe me, what is this toggle column report region first? Oh, let me kick off my timer. What, do we, what can we do here? What is what is this? Actually, I have never used this type of region before. But now um, I see two items, and I think you mean by that the kind of you can add a pagination to this report. It's actually a report, right? It is a type of report, um, and and the, the 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 reason for this report is this little button right here that allows you to pick what columns you can see. So you can say you want to see these columns, and you can easily switch between them. But that's it. You, it's it's I suppose easier than an interactive grid or an interactive report to pick your columns. But that's really it. And the help says that it's good for mobile devices because people can quickly and easily pick what columns. So. Um, in many ways, it's like a classic report, um, except that you get this little thing. Yes. But you you pointed out the the question was how do we how do you do pagination? Because it doesn't actually support pagination. Unlike a classic report, if you edit this report, there's nowhere on this report to say the number of rows per page. It doesn't have automatic pagination. So it's going to display all the rows on the page all the rows, but of course you can do your own pagination, which is what we did. We said, okay, and I'm gonna um, make this a little bigger for folks. We, we added an offset clause. So we said offset, you start at P2 start and you fetch this many rows. Now you can manage buttons to do this or however you want, but, but we just put them and made them visible on the screen so that people could see what we're doing. Um, so, and then of course, um, this does support the region to um, the items to submit when you when you um, when you submit this. So we're going to submit those two items whenever we refresh this. So I have a go button, a dynamic action that refreshes this. It submits wow. those two items. So I can say, OK, only show me three rows um, and I can say start at row 50. And so you can see with this, you could pretty easily come up with your own your own pagination. Right. Maybe yes, right. Buttons or how, however you want to do it. So that is our toggle column report and how you would do pagination. What's our next one, Marwa? The next one is the avatar region. Yeah, which is wacky. This, this is, is it. Yeah. You don't get this till you're in, I think, 24, 1 or 20. I don't know. But this region does so little. It just gives you this. That's it. That's it. And it and only fetches one row. It only fetches. <laughs> so um, I will say it does let you. I mean, I mean, this is pretty impressive. It does let you change it from a square to a circle if you want. <laughs> oh, yes. Ah, okay. Let me uh, really quickly. Um, Maybe stop the timer before uh, we do so. Oh yeah. I, um, you folks may run into this as well. 
I've got so many cookies, so many apps and everything in here. Let me just delete some of my cookies. I don't know which app that is. So let's see. We are in, Marwa, do you remember the app number that this is? Let's see. It's app 196 something something. So I don't want to, I don't want to delete that cookie, but I'll delete this cookie and I'll delete this cookie and this. I have so many apps going at a time that I think I can just delete these cookies. Um, and then I think that will, uh, that will, okay, good. So I got rid of some of my cookies and there we go. All right, so that's our avatar, avatar region. Our next one is the reflow region. The reflow region, also kind of boring. All this does is as you scroll, as you make the screen smaller, it will eventually turn your rows into a column like this. So also potentially good for uh, a mobile device. If people um, go landscape to vertical, it will um, it will automatically switch their um, your report to do that. So that is a reflow. Um, and I think it also will display all the rows. Agreed. Um, but this one at least um, it will. Um, you no, you're right. It, it'll display all the rows. So um, so you might need to do pagination yourself on this as, as well. Uh, yes. Now, the smart filters ones, here we get into, uh, you know, something that I think is more interesting. Um, a smart filter is a region type that acts on either a classic report or a, um, or a cards region. And they, they behave almost identically. Here we have a cards region. Here we have a classic report. And the behavior is the same when you have a smart filter. What it does is you can define these reports. So here I'm going to only show doorman, right? Or I can show doorman and astronauts. So I'm only showing doorman and astronauts. Um, so it's a pretty good. And then here I can pick only in the department operations or maybe I'll switch to sales. Um, so it's a pretty quick and easy way to get filters. It's a little bit like a fasted search, but with a different, um, with a different user interface to it. Yes, exactly. Um, which of these do you actually like? Let me let me pause this. Do you use any of these, Marwa? Actually, no. But maybe in the future, I can use one of these. I think smart filters with the cards I could use. Yes, them. I've definitely used both smart filters, and I've used the reflow in the past as well. Um, uh, I it was for a it was a while ago, but it was for a, a primarily mobile app that would that would uh, oh. switch. Um, from one thing to another. But you can do a lot of that same kind of thing that you get there with the reflow um, by making use of the classes, the layout classes um, and class modifiers that you can find within the Universal Theme app. I'll just point that out to folks. If you don't know about that, it's apex.org.com slash UT for Universal Theme. And within there, uh, particularly in the reference area, there is a whole bunch about um, ways to get responsive classes. So here, these responsive classes will let you do things um, when, you're, when your screen gets smaller. So um, that, that you may decide you wanna do that instead of a reflow, but um, that was it. Um, I guess we hit all of our um, one, two, three, four A and B um, uh, region types. Um, is there anything we should show? Oh, I guess it's, we're, we're past our time, but there are a lot of individual settings that you can do on the smart filters. So um, it's kind of like a facet. Like I said, you've got the same kind of thing. So you can, you can uh, you know, investigate all of the different features of a smart filter. Yes. Well, yeah. these are rare type of regions, like you say. I hope this is going to be useful for some of the developers. Yeah, sometimes it's just knowing they exist that uh, then then you then you're like, oh, I can I can use that. Um, so, all right. Um, well, I had promised to come up with the wisdom of the week this week, but I didn't do it. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe next week, right? Maybe maybe next week. So, uh, well, it looks like. Uh, oh, Brian says a great great tip. I'm glad. Um, any new cooking tips? Ah. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'll come up with a, a good, a good, um, a good cooking tip for for next week. Marwa, do you remember this tip? Which one? No, actually, oh, 
for how to fold cheese to put on your hamburger? No, I don't know the tip. Oh, oh I don't remember what episode it is. You, I'm going to have to go back and find it for you. But uh, Okay, that would be great. On how to, the, the right way to fold your cheese to make a hamburger. We always struggle with that. I mean, at least me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Well, thanks, Brian, for that, uh, that flashback. And, uh, um, and thanks for all the comments. Uh, hi to MA Software, um, dear him and Rich. Um, sounds like we have, you know, we probably have our highest <laughs> um, viewer count ever with four people. Um, and Mohammed, we're up to five. Um, well, thanks, everyone, for joining. Uh, we will see you next week. Do all those things. Smash the like button. Hit the bell. I don't know. Um, send a letter Subscribe. to your mom. Tell the show. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye.